All right, so if you've learned about function inputs and you've returned by function outputs or return values, watch what happens when you do both. So we're gonna make a new function called add, and I bet you can guess what this is gonna be. Now, some people will do this tutorial like A and B, but that's stupid. Let's be a little more responsible and say what they are. It's the first number, right? Variable name in the type. Second number, because add is gonna add numbers, not strings, right? And so we're gonna get a result. So say local result, first number plus second number, and then return that result. So now we've got some inputs. We've got two here, separated by a comma. That's how we know that there's two inputs. And we store the result of adding those two, and when we're ready, we return that result. Now you could just return this, and that's fine. But this code would never run. Anything down here would never run, ever, because return stops the function from running. But, and that looks nice, you know, and, and readable, but I like having variables because sometimes you want to debug this, and you can't do that if it's returned. So this gives you the opportunity to add a print statement and say result, right? And you can do result. And then you could print first number, second number. Remember we had print as multiple return values? So we can just add them in there, comma, and we have nice little names in front of our print statements. So now we're gonna do print. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna even store any of this stuff. Let's just do add. Let's do add one and two. So we're gonna invoke our add function with a one and a two. Notice the comma, we're passing it two parameters. And so the one's gonna drop right into that variable called first number, and two's gonna drop right into that parameter variable. And those variables, first number, only exist in this function. So if we try to like print first number up here, first number, it's not gonna exist, same with second number. And so we can feel confident that whatever we add in this is only gonna be right in here, right? And when it's done adding that result, it's gonna return it. And so we're not gonna do anything right with it right yet because we're printing it out. I just wanna show you how it can take those inputs, one and two, and then add them together. And then we can store that in a result. So we'll get A and then print. What is that variable? Add, we gave it some data. It returned some data and we're gonna print out that data. So that is the top tier of functions where they take some inputs, they return some outputs. And as a developer, you add print statements all over the place to make sure you know actually what's going on inside that function <laughs> while it runs. And then you take it and store it in a variable and do something else with it. And again, these functions are types, so you can return multiple values. You could do multiple times, let's do add one and two, add three and four, add 1,000, 20,000, and hit run. And add's gonna give us different results for each one and go through the bat. So that's how you use functions with inputs and outputs. And they kind of use those inputs to do something you know, special or dynamic and then give you the result of that. So you don't really have to care how it works. You just call that function and it does the magic for you. It makes you feel really powerful.